Good day! Ang topic natin for today's video is about inertial frame of reference. After this video lesson, you are expected to first know that any frame of reference in which the law of inertia is true is the inertial frame of reference. Know that a non-inertial frame is the accelerating object relative to inertial frame. And understand that the inertial frame of reference and all moving objects are relative. But first, go back muna tayo sa definition ng inertia. Inertia is the property of matter in which an object that is at rest wants to remain at rest and an object in motion wants to remain moving in a straight line unless acted upon by an external force. So, ano naman ang inertial frame of reference? This is a preference in which a body stays either at rest or at a constant motion unless acted upon by an external force. So, meaning, para makapag-identify tayo ng inertial frame of reference, we need to set or assume a reference point or a designated position para doon natin makukuha yung relative motion ng isang object. Again, inertial frame of reference is a frame where Newton's law holds true. So, sa assumed reference point natin, dapat mapuprove natin doon yung first law ni Newton about law of inertia. That means, if no external force is acting on a body, it will stay at rest or remain in uniform motion. While, meron din namang non-inertial frame of reference. Ito naman yung frame na nagsishow ng acceleration. The frame that is accelerated with respect to the assumed inertial frame of reference. So, let's go to the examples. Uh, suppose you are this boy and then nanonotice nyo na yung objects surrounding you like these cars are moving or accelerating relative to your position. That means, kung ganun ang iyong na-observe, ang iyong reference point or ang iyong position or ikaw mismo ay nasa isang inertial frame of reference. Wherein, doon natin na prove na ikaw as an object, you are staying at rest which proves the first law of motion where a body at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by, a, by an external force. While yung other objects surrounding you, makikita mo na nag accelerate sila with relative to your motion, which is at rest. Next, we have a bus. So, suppose meron tayong mga tao na nasa bus stop. And then, let's assume na this uh, bus is our inertial frame of reference. So, since ang bus ay at rest, Walang makikitang motion yung mga tao na nasa bus stop. And also, if ever, let's say for example, ikaw yung passengers na nasa bus. Kung ang bus ay at rest pa, so ang reference natin or ang ating reference point ay walang movement. So, napuprove nito yung kanyang inertial frame of reference wherein, it, an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by an external force. Pero paano naman ang mangyayari kung nag-move yung ating bus with constant velocity? Yung bus kanina na nasa bus stop ay nagkaroon na ng motion. So, ang motion niya is constant velocity. Kung tayo yung passenger, suppose sa ating point of view or sa reference point natin sa ating kinauupuan, anong mapapansin natin? May acceleration ba na nangyayari? Since uh, naa-adapt natin yung motion, which is constant velocity ng bus, masasabi natin na ang ating reference frame ay inertial pa din. Kasi na-prove pa rin natin doon yung first law of motion, which is about objects with constant velocity. Wherein, uh, hindi pa rin tayo nakaramdam ng acceleration kahit na, uh, in fact, umaandar naman talaga tayo. Pero ang andar nga natin ay constant velocity. Therefore, our frame of reference is not accelerated as a bus is moving with constant velocity. Next naman, this is a ship at rest. 
which shows an inertial frame of reference. So, suppose, nandito naman tayo sa taas ng isang barko na, na nasa dock. So, hindi pa siya umaandar. So, ano ba ang anong magiging frame of reference natin dito? Inertial ba or non-inertial? So, dito sa reference point na to or sa ating point of view, ang frame of reference natin is not accelerated since ang ship naman ay hindi gumagalaw or at rest. So, sa ating relative sa ating position, ang motion ng ship ay at rest. Therefore, our frame of reference is inertial. Pero paano naman kung nagkaroon siya ng movement? Pero katulad ng bas kanina, constant velocity. So, kahit magkaroon tayo ng movement sa ating point of view or reference point, wala pa rin acceleration na nangyayari since constant velocity siya. Kaya, ang frame of reference natin is still not accelerated as a ship is moving with constant velocity. So, based sa ating reference point, imagine or suppose tayo yung nasa uh, nakasakay sa barko, since ang movement niya ay constant velocity meaning no acceleration, ang, ang frame of reference pa rin natin ay inertial. Another example we have is suppose we are passengers inside an airplane. So suppose uh, this is you and then kapag inobserve mo yung motion ng ibang passengers, for you or sa perspective mo, sa point of view mo, hindi sila gumagalaw or nakasit still lang sila. So anong frame of reference mo? You are still proving an inertial frame of reference. But relative... That, but that is only relative to your reference point or your uh, position. Pero paano naman kung ang ating reference point or point of view ay manggaling outside sa airplane? For example, ating reference point or ating point of view or perspective ay isang bystander sa kalsada na kung saan nakikita niya yung motion or acceleration ng airplane na sinasakyan natin or ng isang bus na dumadaan sa road. So, ano kaya ang frame of reference niya? Masasabi pa, pa rin ba nating inertial? So, from uh, her point of view, ang kanyang frame of reference is non-inertial na. Why? Because... With relative to her position or her reference point, yung ibang object ay nag a -accelerate. Just like this one, nag a -accelerate yung airplane at saka yung bus with relative to her position. So, dyan natin masasabi yung non-inertial frame of reference. So, how about the Earth? Masasabi ba natin na ang Earth ay inertial or non-inertial frame of reference? So, with relative or with respect to our point of view, sa assumed point of view natin or reference point, ma-observe ma natin ang acceleration ng Earth with respect to its own rotation and to its axis around the Sun. And ang ma-observe natin doon ay nagkakaroon ng acceleration yung Earth. Therefore, kapag may acceleration, this is an example of a non-inertial frame of reference. So again, inertial frame of reference is a frame wherein it must prove the first law of motion about objects which stays at rest or in constant velocity unless acted upon by an external force. While a non-inertial frame, ito naman yung mga reference frame na nagpapakita ng objects na nagsishow ng acceleration with respect to our reference point. So that will be all about inertial frames. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.